are the manifest presence of God to some people because they will never understand the manifest presence of God. So manifest the presence of God. And so how do I back this up in the Old Testament? Lord, I, I need a scripture here. Give me a scripture, Father God. So he did. Starting in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19. So I'll give you a second. I'm turning to 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19, and it reads on this wise. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth. But the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he spoke. 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. Blue is the color of the Holy Spirit. Kadesh Ruach. It represents water, living water. When the man of God spoke, the people obeyed because they knew that the man of God was telling them the truth. Tell them, Hope. Tell them. Yeah. She said, he's telling them the truth from the Mount of Olives. You're hearing it. When you act on that prophetic act that the man or woman of God instructs you to do, you're not obeying them, you're obeying the Lord because the Lord is speaking it. I'm not talking about people, hi Hope, I know, she says, speed it up mom, I'm ready to go eat breakfast. Yes ma'am. When the man or woman of God gives you an instruction and that instruction lines up with the word of God, the anointing destroys the yoke. The man or woman of God is not going to tell you to send me $50 and I'll send you a handkerchief and you'll be healed. You can't make deals with the Lord. You cannot make deals with the Lord. He gave you the greatest deal that he could have ever given anybody. He gave you eternal life if you will but trust in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. But when the man or woman of God gives you an instruction and they put something in your hand or they tell you to do something, you do it by faith in the Lord God Almighty, not by faith in the object in your hand, not by faith of the, uh, that you put in the man or the woman of God because we're to trust no man on this earth. We're to put our trust and faith in the Lord. But when you hear a word from a true prophet, from a true messenger, a sent one of the Lord, and you act upon it in faith, the Lord is going to do what he said he's going to do. And it's not going to cost you anything. It's not going to cost you a seed. It's not going to cost you $20 and I'll send you some holy water. It's not going to cost you a $1,000 seed, saints. It's faith. And if the man or woman of God is asking you for money, if they're asking you for a donation, if they're asking you to sow a seed or a first fruit, they are full of it. It is not in the word of God that you have to make a deal with God and you have to pay him for anything. He paid the price. And when you put your faith in the man or woman of God, you're wrong. Tell him, Hope. She's agreeing with me. Put your faith and trust in the Lord. He'll bring it to pass, and you don't have to pay for it because the price has been paid. You put your faith in the Lord. Do what the Lord says to do. From a man or a woman of God that's anointed, it'll line up with the Word of God, and you will see the results of your faith, not the results of your money trying to buy a miracle. You cannot buy a miracle. Father God, I ask, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, that you'll allow this to illuminate their minds, that they'll understand that when the man or woman of God speaks, just like Elisha spoke and said, bring me a cruise of salt. And he threw that salt in the water. That water was healed, saints. You will be healed emotionally, spiritually, physically, in every part of your being when you cry out to the Lord in faith 
and you put your trust and hope in the Lord and not men and women and tokens. The saints, if you have a point of contact, thank God that you've got the holy oil. You can make a prophetic act on earth. When the man or woman of God speaks and, and, and you obey, and the man or woman of God prays or speaks a word or anoints or declares or decrees, agree with it and watch the Lord heal the waters. I declare and decree that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I command by the Holy Spirit, Kadesh Ruach, and the fire of the Holy Spirit, Kadesh Ruach, that every death water be dried up completely and totally, and that only living water will flow through your belly. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach to you, that as you obey the Lord and you put your faith and trust in Him, and you stop trying to make deals with Him, and you stop trying to buy miracles, and you stop trying to pay your way out of sin, and you repent, and you change your mind, and you come fully and completely to Him and surrender, I declare and decree that you are healed by Christ's stripes when you do it His way. I point you to the Lord Jesus Christ, not to the gifts, not to the miracles, not to the signs, not to the wonders. Signs, wonders, and miracles follow us, but we're not to follow them. Receive from the Lord. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I love you. God bless you. A sister with a testimony on my Mount of Olives. God bless you. I love you. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua over you to hide, to protect, and to keep you in all your ways. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory to 